Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So today I want to take a look at CVE 2024-23897 and this relates to Jenkins and an arbitrary file read um, that allows you to pull contents from the file system. So this, this one affects Jenkins 2.441 and earlier as well as LTS 2.426.2 and earlier um, and it's quite interesting so when we pass an at character with a file path in um, an argument sent over the command line or with the script, it handles it and allows us to actually pull the contents of the file. So, I mean, the, the obvious one is the password file, but we can we can definitely pull that. Um, this one caught me out there, so I have seen it before. Um, I didn't think to raise it when I was on a, doing bug bounty because I just didn't. I saw the output and I just didn't think much of it. Um, but now, now I've put more of effort into looking into it. Now I understand it better. I can see how it could be a bit more dangerous. Um, not sure it's a 9.8 because I'm not sure how you get command execution from it. This part alone. Um, I understand that if you pulled information, you could then do further things with it. So I understand if you chained it, you could do. But from this alone, it looks just more like a disclosure type issue. But um, it might be the case I missed something there. So, first up, so there's a couple of ways we can do the, the vulnerability, or at least exploit the vulnerability, I should say. Um, so firstly, I have my Jenkins instance running here, all as well. And I'm going to go to my trusty mousepad here. So firstly, we can grab the, the jar file, which is the command line jar file, so we can put that in there, we can download it. Uh, I've done that already, so here's one I made earlier. There we go, so you see it there. And we can run a couple of commands. So we can do obviously get the password file that that's expected, but we can do a little bit more. So by running this, we can grab the actual path that um, Jenkins is running on. So let me just show you this. Let me just show you the anatomy of the command. So we're running Java to run the Java file. We're going to this. This is my Jenkins instance over HTTP. Uh, these are the arguments we're going to pass to it. And the last argument is the environment. So we're going to try and get some information out of it this way. So here we go. Now this is what caught me out. So I saw the error, too many arguments, just didn't pay attention to what was afterwards. Uh, but this is actually quite important because this is, this is where the actual vulnerability is. So here we can see the Jenkins home path. So there we go. This is what we're going to use our next, next argument, we, uh, next one we run. Um, but as you can see, this is, this is pulling information for the file system. This is stuff we shouldn't be able to see on the outside. So it is disclosing stuff it shouldn't do. So now, now we know the uh, the actual home path for Jenkins, we can go run the second command, which is to get the secret key. Let me do that. And let's paste clipboard. There we go. And here is our key. So yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. You can pull things from the, the Jenkins system with this, 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 this command line tool, and you can obviously point it to other uh, the host doesn't have to be the one you downloaded it from but yeah it's that simple um once you understand where the information is and what's being pushed out it's very simple to to understand how to use this but let me just show you the, the output the password file this is where it gets a bit murky because there's not, there's not much you can see in the password file when you do this it's probably not the best way of proving the impact you only see the top line route which is you know, i could have guessed that without having looked at the password file right Cool. So the second option is we can use a script or a Python script, I should say, uh, written by this chap here. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know this person, but it is very good. <laughs> um, I would say I had issues trying to do the first two steps I tried already. So I'm just going to try the password file to show you the working, but it gives us a little bit more information on how the vulnerability works. It's a post request to the CLI and it shows you how it's pushing the data over to it. So, you know, the content type is important here too, the Octave stream. But anyways, let, let's have a look at how it works with the Python script. So I should have it ready somewhere. So let's grab the password for. There we go. Similar deal in the error, we're getting the information pushback. And that's it. Simple as that. Like I said, I had some issues trying this with the other two parts of trying out the environment and secret key. I'm not, not sure why, but I mean, you have the command line jar file to use there too. Um, you have a couple of options. There's other tools too written for this too, so I'm sure there'll be other ways of doing it. But like I say, nice and easy to do. Uh, once you understand where the information is being pushed out and what it can do, it's quite, quite nice. Um, I'm not sure you'll see too many on the internet, but you'll probably see these on internal pen tests. Um, you know, people are likely not to upgrade because it's a pain to do an upgrade of things like this. 